my name's James. I'm 40 and I'm currently located in Edinburgh. So James, can you tell us your favourite location in Scotland? I would say that it's probably spread across two places and that would be the Outer Hebridean Islands of Harris and Lewis and Orkney. Both of them, both of them are, are very similar but have a very different feel to their cultures. Do you have a favourite Scottish food? A favourite Scottish food um, would probably be a black pudding roll with a tatty scone on it. <laughs> nice healthy one then. Oh aye, definitely, <laughs> definitely. Okay, and to go with that, do you have a favourite tipple? 70 shilling. I like my 70 shilling uh, mm. beer. Controversial. Very controversial, yeah. yes. Right. Okay. Do you have a favourite memory or story that you can tell? Just a short one. You know, before, before the tourism got very um, upmarket, we used to do a lot of backpacking stuff. And I was up in an area of Sky Coast Lagakin and for some reason I, I decided to race my group back to the bus and I would take the wrong path and uh, I would lose a boot in a bog and, and manage to fill the whole front of my shirt full of mud and peat and then had to do the rest of the tour uh, of that day with only one shoe on. <laughs> so nothing new then? No, no. nothing new. I... <laughs> the best thing about working for Stravagan I think I think the best the best thing about working for Strathvegan is the freedom that not only the guide has but the passenger has as well, and the customer is really orientated towards the customer, and I think um, a lot of companies could take the leaf a leaf out of Strathvegan. Uh, Ian still drives, he still works for the company, so he has a very good idea of what's actually going out on the road and, and uh, what the customer wants. But I think overall, it's it's been allowed the freedom to do what the customer wants to do um, and really give them a tour that they've chosen. Could you sum Stravagan up in one word? Uh, Stravagan in, in, in one word um, would be exceptional.